This entertainment production is brought to you today by the Samurai Aquatics and Decor MetaVenture. Scan that QR code or click that link in the description and dive yourself headfirst into the Samurai Aquatics Discord server to pleasure your peepers on our current and future range of outdoor decor. The Wine and She Show is a Metaverse and NFT discussion and interview series brought to you by Metaverse Ventures Entertainment and host Ben68 and more cheese. Warning, the information and opinions within are solely the views of the individuals involved contains content not suitable for anyone. G'day and welcome to episode 53 of the Wine and Cheese in the Metaverse Show. Today we talked to Yo Creati about his project Novo Pangea. Yo talked about how he got into the Metaverse, his experience with programming, the different realms in Novo, and what he has planned for the future. Yes, and we also got some naughty, sticky pickies, which I don't think you meant to get out there. But anyway, so do your homework, mofos, and choose your realm. Will you embrace time like cheese, or will you join me in the shadows? More about all that in yet another shitty episode of... The worst show ever. Wine and cheese. Time for wine and cheese. Wine and cheese. Time for wine and cheese. One is a wanker, one's like it stumps, one's from Australia, one's from the Bronx. Talking about the metaverse and NFT, interviewing all the real crypto geeks. Hello, welcome to the Wine and Cheese in the Metaverse show, episode 53. I forgot, you did it at the front and then I forgot, what was it? In the place to be. (laughs) That's it. Yes, place to be. So we have Yo Kriati here from Nova Pangea. He's going to be our, hey, he's going to be our our co-host with the most and go over some articles. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about his project, which I just recently got into. His streams are freaking hilarious, awesome. He does a lot of giveaways and uh, yeah. Ben. Well, we've had so much fun before the show's even started. I know, I, I talk so much. I'm just like, blah, 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 blah. Ben's like, save it for the show. <laughs> I love it though. It's a lot of fun. <clears throat> yeah, we're laid back. We're fun. I have this fan over here so you can just see my hair kind of attacked my face like the bastard it is let me just move this a bit so ben what should we talk about first um did you go to dallas and arlington did you buy any buy any upland real estate i didn't i wanted to it's not because i didn't want to um it's because i'm broke (laughs) i'm a a broke ass bitch um so i spent all my money on my bronxdale prop that i was saving up for over for a few weeks now and um so so we ben and i do notes for uh because i know yo karate doesn't really know much about us in our upland thing so mm-hmm. we met about in 2001 uh end of march 2001 and ben created um the udu back then it was midtown terrace but we'll just save that story for later and uh basically what we do is we go into new cities and if we have a manager for it, we we um, take over a neighborhood in the city, and and they're called nodes. You need a bit more background information. This sounds like we're riding through the streets with pitchforks. So th- <laughs> we this kind is, of are. We kind of are. That's okay. This is in the up upland metaverse, buying virtual real estate. Oh, I thought this was the box tail. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door for her. Yeah, no way to see if she opens the door for you. Oh, I know. That's that's a classic. That's, that's a classic. Why, yeah, that's so. why my first car was a Cadillac because of that movie. My best friend's nice. sister went to school with her. Really? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, so we just had Dallas City and Arlington release. So I grabbed about 12 properties in Dallas, and then I got on the train, moved over to Arlington, and I've got about 12 there. That's, that's about all I'm going to do, and then I'm going to get the hell out of there. So can I ask a question about Upland? Yes, absolutely. I, I downloaded the app. I played it a little bit. Um, so you don't actually have to go to that physical location to to purchase? If no. you want to mint it, you do. But if you want to buy secondhand, you don't. Okay. Oh, f- what do you mean by physical location? 
like if I have to actually go to Arlington or Dallas, Texas. To oh, no, no, you no. don't. No, it's no. all like traveling within the game. Like, so you would have to take a plane or a train within the game to get there. So when you DM yeah. me, yes, I said, take a plane. I thought you wanted me to call up Delta, get a ticket, <laughs> jump on and fly. And I'm just like, no. That's like, I'm not that, I'm not, I'm not that committed. You were, I'm like, yeah. you were like, yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gosh, I'd be broke as shit. Yeah, from you a, know, flying from Australia. I don't yeah. know. Dallas, Dallas is good. I'm sure they got some good food out there, but no, they're having it's a just, fair it's this just, weekend. Just virtual real estate NFTs. So, no, it's awesome. all good. so you but kind I know of what you mean because he got pseudo me have to be there. Yeah, yeah. Your, your avatar has to be there within the game, gotcha. not your Cause, physical body. Yeah, because I, I play I play another game called uh, Atlas Earth where you actually have to be there. You have life. to travel there. That's like like That's a travel crazy. game. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. so it's hard to get land but it's good because when you when you go on vacation you, you're, you're like when i was in uh new york city for um nft conference i had to get Times square but most of it was already, already oh, he's purchased. so lucky yeah, i so went nice. to i i had to choose which one i wanted to go to uh they were having one in vegas and they were having one in new york and now that i live in arizona i went to the vegas one because we were able to drive right up there um, but I do like, I would have loved to be at the New York NFT NYC. Yeah, it, it was fun. But honestly, if I, if I had to pick, I'll go to Vegas too. A bit, Vegas was more laid back, I'm sure. A lot yeah. more laid back because New York. I'm, I'm Northeast. To... I'm very laid back. So, <laughs> yeah, but there's like crowds and then there's lines and there's like so much to do. Where in Vegas, this is like one thing to do. In New York, it's uh, like you had this whole kerfuffle. I like that word, kerfuffle. I use that word. Awesome. Yes. So we had that dual city release and we also have you voted yet, Cheese? We just had voting come in app. You have to update your app and then you can vote. You're voting on the Terraform former names. The the selections are Vody McVoteface, which is what I voted for, Popularis Votron, and the Validator. So the validator? The ballot dator. Yeah. All of them suck. Who came up with these names? Uh, it was all done on Reddit. There was a thing where you could submit possibilities and people did it. Yeah, the that. first one is good, but I really don't give a shit. So I'll just, I'll let that, <laughs> I'll let the others vote on that one. <laughs> all right. I think that might be a good segue to move on to our first article. So Cheese has found a couple of these now. We've got a bunch of soccer ones first up because we do soccer. know that Upland is all about soccer at the moment. So this one is Manchester City partners with Sony to build the first football stadium in the metaverse. Now, who mm -hmm. the hell are these people? Like, we're building the first stadium. Who are these people? I don't like them already. Yes, well, I just put a tweet a out before. Yeah, we have within the Upland metaverse, we have built oh. several NFL stadiums. Um, and we have recently started building an FC Porto stadium in Portugal, a soccer stadium. I don't know if that is finished or not yet. So I don't know if this claim is true. I think somebody might be missing Let, some information here. Let's see. Let's see. Manchester City, one of the biggest names in English club football and the defending Premier League champions are reportedly building the words world's first football stadium inside the metaverse with help from virtual reality experts at Sony. The football club has signed a partnership with Sony on a three-year initiative. And while the project is still in its early phases, meaning it's not done yet, teams of the company specialists have already visited the, I don't know how to pronounce that, e e Etihad Stadium. Sorry, Etihad, Manchester. Yeah. <clears throat> the E Stadium, we'll call it the E Stadium. Manchester's home ground to map it digitally and construct a VR version of it. So they haven't done it yet. So they're not the first. It's not. Now I'm built just pulling yet. up. Well, I'm just pulling up the Estadio do Drago, or however you say it, the the football stadium in Portugal, and it looks like it's built. Yes, it is finished. We're the first. You, you, you guys beat them. You guys beat them. We beat them. We do. Fuck those guys. You got I wish I could share one. screen, but. My um, computer doesn't like. Cheese, do you have Upland open? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you want me to go? Just go to Portugal and you'll see there's a big soccer ball icon. Okay. Roll up to Portugal. Uh, what were you hey. saying, uh, yo? I say you guys just submit an article to them saying you beat them. So I think we should. Yeah. Fake well, news. I tweeted it That's out straight news. away. And I'm gonna... Fake news. I'm going to. 
I'm going to share this screenshot now within Twitter. So while you're bringing that up, I'm going to do some Twitter trolling. Oh, hell yeah. This is beautiful. All right. Let me uh, share, share. Where is it? Why can't I see it? Oh. Um, look at that. Look at this beautiful stadium. That, that um, looks like a soccer stadium to me. Right? Right? 100%. I wish I owned I played, I played soccer here. my whole life, and that's definitely a soccer stadium. Yeah, so, like, a quick little um, uh, thing for you, like, information for you. If it's blue like this, mm -hmm. it's owned. If it's green, that means it's it's on sale second market. You could buy it. Um, and if you wanted to mint something, there's stuff in, in uh, Porto that's still... <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> that's still mintable, right? Yeah, it's yeah, like I a, believe so. It's like a that might be all FSAs though, isn't it? Or with that expansion, I don't know. They did an expansion, and I didn't go back to What's it. What's FSA stand for? Fair Start Act. So that these are these are properties that are reserved for basically for new players. So they're generally cheaper properties, kind of more like entry level players. So, so established go, players like one. Cheese and myself, we can't go and gobble them all up. I can go uh, get one. Depending like on that. what your That's net not... worth is. Like how um how much money do you have in there? Okay. I still have to put money in then. You might you might get me hooked. Yeah, I'll show you how to play the you game. You might get me hooked. I don't know. Dude, I put like eight eight K in the game and like I'm already like close to forty six K. Just, just don't get my wife hooked because then she'll go try to buy what they'll drive. I'm not, I'm not joking. If you know my wife, she'll be like, oh, man. She'll go try to buy what they'll drive in Times Square. She'll try Eiffel Tower. No, my wife. Well, we don't have the Eiffel Tower yet. We do have uh, Manhattan and Times Square. We do have Rodeo Drive. We yeah. do have Rodeo Drive. Yeah, she would definitely. What are you at? 46 billion? Million. Is that what you are? 46? Yeah. After I'm I bought just the behind scale. you. I'm just behind you, but with uh, 100 in front of it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm 145 million. That was that was a uh, that was a flex right there. So you see how these are are gray. Yes. If you go next to it to buy it, because you have to fly over in the game, not in real life. Not in real life. Not in real, <laughs> not in real life. You fly over, and it'll turn like um, <clears throat> neon green. Okay. And that means you can mint it. But if it's yeah, yeah. dark green, then you can buy it secondhand. And a lot of the time, it's actually not that pricey. Okay. So how much is that, like, in the USD? That's, like, $9.49. Okay. So, like, every 1,000 Upix is mm -hmm. a dollar. Okay. Makes sense. And yes, that, that claim of being the first, we can pretty safely say, uh, burr, burr. yeah, wah, wah, you're not. That's what, when nice I saw that guy. article, I got mad. I was like, I felt like I had to stick up for, for Upland, like they were, you know. Yes. Well, I was actually curious about the VR experts over at Sony. Mm. All right, bounce out of that, and we'll go back oh, to the article, Chase. That's true. Let's have a look here. Um, let's see what they say. They go on to say, uh, as per a Coin Telegraph report, thanks to Imagine Analysis and skeletal tracking technology developed by Hawkeye, a subsidiary of Sony, the Etihad will be transformed into a major center of the club in a VR environment. That's cool. Oh, so you could watch it like you could be there in VR, sitting in okay. the stands watching. That's amazing. There, yeah, here we go. So officials from Manchester City who are working on the project foresee a day where the virtual Etihad Stadium would be full to capacity, allowing supporters who may not be able to travel to Manchester to watch live games from the comfort of their own home, I'm so whenever smart. They, wherever they are in the real world. So, yeah, that's cool. But I, I personally oh. love this. Go ahead. Go ahead. When this, I don't know, I don't know what device they're using for VR. Um, but I have the mm. Oculus, and I, I was blown away by the first time I, I used it. Um, but I would love to like watch Patriot games in Gillette Stadium <clears> with <throat> my Oculus on. So I think this is if they do it right, I, I, I would I would use it. You know, I have my, I have the Oculus as well, but we my husband and I usually just use it for uh, killing zombies. 
<laughs> oh, and we got this new game that I have to play with him. We haven't played it yet. We we actually met in a video game, so we're big gamers. Mm -hmm. But this new game is really cool. Like you have to actually like with your hands, like um, reload your gun every time, and like 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 cock it, and then shoot, mm -hmm. and then you have to do it every time. So we got to see. <clears throat> it's like an army zombie type game but my, my wife loves the um the creepiest game like the creepiest yes! games she loves them so maybe you two can play together oh because, my um, fucking we got God, one I, I forgot one i think it's the exorcist i forgot which game again i think it's exorcist and she can't get by like the church scene she gets too scared but she loves it like she nice. loves spook, and she loves that that stuff that's why she's a shadow realm in nova pangea oh my god i almost picked shadow i picked time because i felt like it had the most advantages at the time not to be punny oh. but um does she play computer games no she she does she does um no she just likes the oculus because it's it's fun the whole experience yeah i want to play with her that'd be so freaking cool Absolutely. Now it says here, just to wrap up on this one, it says, I think the traditional image of someone sitting on a sofa watching a screen is something we cannot imagine is going to still be the reality, not even in 10 years, maybe in five years time already. Things move faster than we think. I uh, think faster yes. than five years. But the, the one thing that Upland has over these guys is the <clears throat> developer tools. Like, like we will probably get the same thing, but somebody in the community, an actual gamer creating it instead of like a corporation. Yeah, well, this, this, this is a partnership talking about the early stages. Well, like we've just shown, Upland already has a stadium. They're already buying and selling collected, what is essentially collector trader cards for the NFTs. They're already doing experiences where you can go to the stadium and, you know, do these kind of experiences mm -hmm. and buy these things. And that segues over to this kind of strange one that you found, which is a, a weirdly enough, a LinkedIn post where yes. old mate, old mate Dirk's popping his head in and what's <laughs> behind them. It's a uh, bada bing, bada boom. It's another soccer stadium. So what have yes, we got here? Cheese? Oh, you, you didn't want me to force you to read this, did you? So Yeah, I did a, a really bad job reading this to you, but let's I do just have call... to give props to, Dirk, to, um, to Dak. Because Dak yeah. helped me with this one. Thank you, Dak. Now, I'm not going to try and butcher this <clears throat> bloke's name. I'm just going to call him Old Mate. So. Okay. <laughs> Old Mate has discovered a new playing field for itself, blockchain technology. And according to CEO Axel Hel Hellman, what an awesome last name. This fits in with like my Germany's name. most innovative football <laughs> club, especially with a view to the Financial Centre Frankfurt. Um, Old Mate as a blockchain ambassador. As a new player in the Champions League of the Metaverse, on closer inspection, this seems only logical, blah, 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 blah. Let's just skip all that because that's just garbage. So together with the stadium's namesake, Deutsche Bank Park, perfect match. Now is the time for old mate to collect game practice on the blockchain and to answer a critical question for themselves. Um, so basically, because this is translated from German, so it's a bit, yeah. um, this was an auto translate, so it's I a bit all over the place. This. <laughs> but it seems like, this is um, one of the founders of the Upland Metaverse here. Mm -hmm. That's Dirk Luth. And he's over here with old mate who appears to be connected with one of Germany's major football teams. So that's pretty cool, I think. And, and it might be a clue as to what the next international city will be. Yeah. Dudes in suits doing presentations. I like it. So, so I think this is all heading. Fest. We need some more girls up there. Sausage fest. All right. <laughs> and we found one more one more quick article that is, again, football in the metaverse. Um, I'm sure everybody's heard of this name, at least. Even if you know nothing about soccer, you would have heard, heard of the Liverpool Football Club. So Liverpool executive explains stance on NFTs and potential for metaverse future. So soccer is really again. getting in on this. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's very exciting because, like, football is the, like, the American – um american football thing and then soccer is like the rest of the world's american football <laughs> right yeah. do you watch soccer uh yo um i i play my whole life i watched the lance united a lot because you know really teams and my um my my uh you know guy I grew up with used to uh he was the captain on the team and they won it nice um so i watch a lot of uh mls soccer that's awesome so would this be something that would kind of make you want to come into upland even more to get into the collection and do uh 
No. No, really? No, I'm, they, gonna, no. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I, I will, I'm actually that first article. I'm actually excited about. I would love to experience watching like some of the biggest rivalries in soccer with the yep. VR on. Actually, like I want to. I, I'm, I'm more curious now of watching the game, but the experience in the crowd. Yeah. Like, are you gonna be having experience of like people actually there, or is it gonna be other virtual people in your experience? Because that is a, one of the biggest parts of my favorite thing about going to like the Patriots games with NFL is like mm. the actual crowd and all the Patriots in the, the atmosphere. So I'm, I'm I mean, very curious how they do that. Yeah, I think like I, I've got no interest in soccer. I've got no interest in buying any of this sort of NFTs and that sort of stuff. But what it does is it's the tech behind it that I'm most interested in. Like <clears throat> Cheese and I have been talking in the show for a long time that it's kind of a snowball effect. Like one of these football teams gets involved and that kind of gets out there. And then all of the other teams kind of feel like, well, we better do something too. Otherwise we're going to be left behind. All right. So I have a perfect idea to make it more kind of like in the experience. So I, I'm, I'm a big hockey fan. I've never really gotten into to football or soccer, uh, but I, I, I being from New York, I used to go to see a lot of devil's games and I would wear my Jersey proud and it was very dangerous. I got beer thrown on me. It's all about the experience, right? So imagine going to a soccer game in Upland um, with your Jersey on and like a, a, another game, and then, like, you have virtual beer spilled on you. You have, like, riots in the streets after the game if your team lost. You get a special <laughs> NFT. I got puked on at the Cars. Liverpool Stadium. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They, they could flip your car. Like, your car, if it's not inside, like, a garage, your car can get flipped and, and damaged. Because we had, oh they God. just brought cars into Upland and you could do racing. I remember when I went to the um, World Cup back in day in France. You know, my soccer team, you know, obviously going for USA and we're playing against Germany. We had grown men. I was at like uh, 11 this time. Grown men in Germany, from Germany, throwing rocks at us. Yeah. Wow. And we were like 11 years old. Wow, rocks. Yeah, they yeah, throw I, rocks and beer bottles at us. It was crazy. Yeah, I just got wow. beer from like a plastic cup. Maybe that's why they only had them in plastic cups. Yeah, for in, sure. In the, in the hockey. Like now it makes sense. <laughs> so it says the here the back my second favorite team too so i was like oh no <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it says here back in march liverpool made the somewhat controversial decision to enter the world of nfts um launching a collector digital sets at via the sotheby's auction house which is kind of cool but this the sale didn't de deliver the numbers they were hoping for yada 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 but um you know, it's the CEO of the club, Billy Hogan, um, basically has left the door open to get involved in the NFT space. And, you know, as more of it, like we said, as more of this stuff kind of gets out there and more and more teams start to get involved, it's it's only a matter of time. Yeah. So, no, I think that's all pretty cool. Yeah. Not, as I said, not that I'm a fan of soccer. I don't really follow much sports at all, to be honest, but I like where this is headed. Yeah. Because the same technology could be applied to, you know, um, musical events or anything like that. So it's it's more the, the foundations of what it all all is pointing towards that I'm kind And of Upland is there having. because I remember you were telling me, Ben, that um, you were able to go into a movie theater back in the day. Oh, that was way Upland. back in the day. Yeah, yes. but they have that technology. They have the ability to do it. Absolutely. All right, now we're, that's we're going to move on now. Now this is probably this next article. Cheese found this one, and it's right up her alley, being a um, a, the financial side of things. I'm just gonna. My only input is for the start of this is going to be this um, thumbnail they've used here. So the the heading is a recent SEC filing shows the world's largest asset manager BlackRock plans to launch a metaverse ETF. Um, this dude here, he looks like he's playing some kind of sexy. <laughs> Virtual reality game. <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, Hong Kong, exactly. So. All right, take it away, Cheese. What's BlackRock and what's got you so excited about this? So BlackRock is an investment company just like Goldman Sachs. I used to work at Goldman Sachs and I used to I used to invest in ETFs. ETFs are basically like if I was to put into layman's terms, 
like you take a whole bunch of different stocks and you put them together in a bowl and then you're like hey do you want to invest in this bowl of stocks sort of thing um you, they could be depending on how how many times the etf is traded will determine if it goes up or down so basically you would get like um etfs of you know different companies if they now blackrock is is huge if they want to uh create a new exchange traded fund which is an etf based on metaverse companies like i would be in there i would do it because you would have yeah. stuff like roblox sandbox upland decentraland all into this bowl and and you can yep. and if you don't want to invest in one or the other you could just invest in all of them mm. so yeah it says here though they're going to track metaverse firms with exposure to virtual reality nfts augmented reality game centric finance um game game fi application so yeah no that's pretty cool yeah i hope um, they do it like the world's largest asset manager by by assets under management <laughs> blackrock has been investing more energy into the digital asset and blockchain space in recent times on friday bloomberg's katherine grayfield and v vildana hadrick first reported on the u.s securities and exchange commission filing for blackrock's new etf the iShares Future Metaverse. That's cool. The iShares Future Metaverse Tech and Communications ETF. So do they say when this is going to come? Oh, um, it was submitted September 29th. Yeah. Doesn't so just have a, yesterday. a signed ticket yet. So yeah, it is pretty early days by the looks of it. But That's really cool. Yeah, I'll get into this. Do you do any trading, yo? Uh, I give my money to somebody to trade for me. Ah, uh, so yeah, you would give it to someone like BlackRock. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I would. I would. I would definitely. I would definitely be in this. Mm. Because metaverse is they're the future. Like like blockchain is it's all connected. Yeah, I think I, I, I'm a big. I really believe in um the blockchain. I think um the best applications for it hasn't even been discovered yet. Yep. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. No, this all looks very interesting um maybe just we'll wrap up on this it says the latest blockchain metaverse etf could include firms exposed to virtual platforms social media gaming digital assets and augmented reality the report adds blackrock's chief ceo larry fink remarked last year that as far as bitcoin is concerned he's more on the jamie diamond camp <laughs> interesting hmm. but yes he does believe that there is a huge role for a digitized currency and said he believes that it's going to help consumers worldwide, whether it's Bitcoin or something else. Yeah. So now this is very cool. <clears throat> yeah. Gosh, yes. I think I'm not so sure about that thumbnail. That <laughs> <Hong Kong. laughs> All right. Now we've got one more article to wrap up on, which was a, this is very interesting. Um, we've been kind of joking about this for a while, but as with a lot of things that you joke about, you know, six months down the track, they become a reality. So we have Walmart enters the metaverse. What happens now? Now, this is something I've been telling you about, Ben. Roblox. Yep. Roblox. Walmart Roblox. land. This is amazing. Walmart like, land. all right. So do you have any kids, yo? I got two. Two kids. Do yeah. they play Roblox yet? Are no. they into the whole? One, no? one is seven months years old. And the other one's four years old. So four. All yet. right. The four-year-old has another couple of years. But Roblox, yeah. the best way to take money from kids. I'm I love it. Like you want to, it's easy, as easy as taking a lollipop from a baby. That's Roblox. And yeah, uh, I'm all for all it. three of my kids play Roblox. They're all maniacs for Roblox. So. How, much, how much does that cost you monthly? It doesn't cost us anything at the moment because we're just like, no, and because what little gaming I do comes from a grinding kind of sort of mindset. No, if you want something in this game, you're going to have to put the time in and grind for it. I'm well, okay, so, you're not going to so, get nothing for free. Whatever, Ben. So my niece, <laughs> my I'm, niece. I'm with you, Ben. My niece. Yeah, but you're not the one bringing the, you're not the one giving them the money. I, I like the people who are giving the money. Like mm. I want to invest in, in Roblox because I want to take some of these kids cash. So my niece, she's like, 
I'm like, what do you want for, for your birthday? What do you want for Christmas? Oh, Roblox, Robux. They call them Robux. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. So I gave her a hundred dollars worth of Robux. The next day she's, she's done. She used all her freaking Robux and it's on stupid yep. shit, but I love it. So it's like, oh, it's an outfit. Oh, it's a hairdo. Oh, it's, it's wings, stupid fucking wings. Or like she, she play the only game I'll play with her on there is this shooting the zombies game. And like, you'll get like a gun and like, she'll get a gun, but it's like, it, you're, you're not able to really do anything with it. Now, if they turn these items into NFTs, now they're collections. Now you can actually sell them and make a they profit. For sure. They will be. Yeah. Um, so like, how do they KYC, KYC that for children now? It's going to be very interesting. And you mentioned niece. Yeah. One of my nieces, she gets her pocket money, we call it, which is, what do you say, allowance. She gets her allowance in Roblox bucks. There you go. Um, right there. Yeah. Right there. Yes. I don't give them any money for Roblox. I they don't. Gotta, she's, they not gotta, they, she's not my kid. She's not my kid. She's your kid. Oh, I my niece. You, oh, your niece. Your niece. Yeah, what what about your niece. kids? You gonna, don't give them allowance? No. Oh. We tried yeah. that and they just they just abused it, so we stopped. But no, when when it comes to yeah. birthdays or Christmas, yeah, we'll we'll do Roblox gift cards and that. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Or Minecraft or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, they always ask for that. They don't they don't want cash anymore. See, my no, my ideal cash. future is to take money from your kids, Ben. Nice. <laughs> So getting back to Walmart, it says <laughs> Walmart is the latest retailer to make a splash in the metaverse. The discount giant is debuting in the metaverse by launching two new Roblox metaverse experiences called Walmart Land and Walmart's Universe of Play. I the love it. spaces offer original interactive content and entertainment. Walmart Land will offer digital fashion style, beauty and entertainment items directly to Roblox users, while Walmart's universe of play will provide a virtual toy destination in Roblox. I mean, it's so smart. It is. They, they have to do this. This is amazing. I Fucking Walmart. When I, when I was in college and I did my business uh, thesis, like I had to do, um, I had to pick a company. It was Walmart. Yep. And I got so many boos. Like, I got so many people hating on me. But fuck you. Walmart is the capital, like, like king or queen. Yes. So it says here, the retail powerhouse is also providing another vote of confidence for Roblox as a metaverse commerce platform. But this step is certainly not the last Walmart, Walmart will take in its metaverse strategy. Yeah, as we keep saying, this is all just the very beginning. Um, so I got to get back into Roblox. Here we go. NFTs more than a collector's item. So NFTs, unique digital assets, blah, blah, blah. Um, certifies the owner are another metaverse phenomenon, phenomenon which Walmart may want to implore. Like we've talked about this, like um, rewards cards, or if you buy something at Walmart, you can get the NFT for it as well. So, yeah. No, and this I, is very, like this is cool. how Amazon will respond. I yep. thought they were together. I thought Amazon uh, and Walmart were together. That's further down. I haven't, we haven't gotten to that yet. That's down here. So this here says an NFT is much more than a JPEG file and a serial number. You can build a community with NFTs. Hello, that's exactly what Upland is. So it's all community based. So retailers can deliver gated content there. You can geolocate NFT users on your app and reach them via their phones with push notifications. Yeah, that like um Yo said, we haven't even begun to see where all this is headed. So what, what Cheese was talking about there is how will Amazon respond? Ding, ding, ding. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, I thought Amazon and Walmart were, were like together. They were team, but this says that they're rivals. I thought they were rivals. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I, I thought, but you like, you have a cheap, a cheap online store. You have a cheap re, uh, brick that. and mortar store. Like I think the key get married. is that choose. That's you the know, key there. Walmart's trying to take over Amazon uh, digital market share. They're trying wow. to. Uh, they really are with the, all their, especially when I Google when I Google stuff to buy. Walmart's always right up there, and they do that. They do this, the same type of shipping stuff. Yep. So, um, yeah. Wow. It says in the article, "Where one goes, the other inevitably follows." And this last bit down here, this is this is what Cheese and I have been banging on for ages. Amazon cannot afford to stand by and let other retailers assume dominant positions in the still evolving metaverse commerce space. 
watch for Amazon to move beyond the plot pilot stage in the metaverse in the not too distant future. So Come like, like it. we just said with, with soccer and that sort of thing, once one or two teams start doing it, then it's kind of, you know, you, you have to take it seriously that these companies, they, they can't just poo poo it and push it under the carpet because they're just going to get wrecked long-term. Yeah. Because all Amazon the kids that are coming up, they're all about it. You think Amazon will have its own token one day? I hope so. I'd buy it. Yeah. Would you buy it? Yeah. You can, if Hell it, yeah. If they accept it, it's going to be, uh, they have the power to make any one of these uh, tokens uh, explode. See, like everybody's yes. like, if you could go back in time and tell your, your, your past self of something, what would you do? Everybody's saying all this stupid shit. I would tell my past self, buy, buy more Amazon, you stupid bitch. Do I remember when um, Bitcoin was uh, about hundred dollars? My friend uh, was telling me about, he was mining it. He had a he he got a um, whole bunch of servers and was just mining it, and I just did not understand it. And I'm smacking myself in the head. Yeah. This was like years. This is over a decade ago, and it was just. There's plenty of those. Yeah, and he's not even on Facebook anymore. He he went off the grid. Yeah, <laughs> I don't blame him. Find him anymore. I can't even find him oh. anymore. <laughs> Or he he's lost he's lost control of that hard drive and there's twenty bazillion dollars worth on there so he's he's gone into hiding in the woods, you know. Yeah, probably. He went Sunday. crazy. Oh my god. There's plenty of those stories too. So, all right, Chase, you know what to do. Yo, Creati, pour us a hot cup of Yo, Creati. Tell us about yourself. How did you get into the metaverse, and how did you get? How did you form this awesome? game nova pangea um well i've always been you know into games my whole life um big final fantasy starcraft pokemon and even clash of clans uh, gamer but um you know actually you know i'm a computer science major so i've been a developer for a long time and um my favorite language actually back in the day was flash and action script and if you are familiar with flash you know um you know back in the day I say like 2005, 2006, you know, the metaverse was a thing back then, but they called it virtual worlds. So I built a whole bunch of virtual worlds for some big brands like Coke and uh, Barbie Girls and uh, Wonka. You know, my first job, it was, it was, it was amazing. You know, I fell in love with it. Cool. So I've, I've always been very familiar with um, the whole virtual world sp um, space. Um, but, you know, as time came on, you know, Flash died, the metaverse died, you know, web became simple because phones weren't strong enough to really handle, handle it all. Um, but then when uh, Web3 came out, NFTs and the metaverse, it was, it was just so simple for me. So, you know, it, it was very easy to put together the team because I spent over 10 years in different digital marketing agencies. So I knew, you know, what artists to reach out to. Our art team uh, is in Colombia, and it's actually the best art artist I've ever worked with throughout my, my entire career in agencies. Nice. Um, so I reached out to them, and they they were on board. And if, I don't know if you guys had a chance to take a look at our artwork, but it's 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 gorgeous. Yeah, I, that's usually the first thing I go to and and see. Like that's um, what kind of brought me to Tales of the Crypto because. I'm really, I'm really into that kind of style. It's kind of like a, like a, like a weird, like kind of like comic slash poster illustrator type thing. So when I saw your art, like Goldsmith got me into Nova Pangea. And when I saw your art, I was like, oh, all right, these are, this, this is well done. This, they, they put some time into this. Yeah. If you go to our collections page, um, like we have a lot of animation and sounds and the way we do um, our, our, our cards, we have like story cards. So, um, so you get to understand the world of Pangea before you play the game. So then you can actually trade in your story cards for actual game assets that you use in the game to stake and to play, to earn. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, but if Wait, you really look ben. at- Don't move Ben, don't move Ben. Yeah, click oh. on legendary, the legendary tab. They had Did a you? cult, they had a cult there. That's ours, that's us. I don't know. To the right, to the right, to the right. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, yeah that's they're, really cool. for me. Cool. That's really cool. Yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. So we love, um, yeah. So uh, we got the art team. So and then, you know, next was to assemble the tech guys. So I was um, lucky enough to get um, my, my favorite uh, tech person I ever worked with. This is a guy 
I've been in the fires with him. Anytime there was something that I didn't know how the team didn't know how to figure out, he was the guy who could always, always figure it out. So he got on board. And then um, we were lucky enough to get another one of my strongest tech you ever worked with. So I have such a strong team. Well, we'd have such a strong team um, from art to tech to marketing. I'm, I'm just excited about this project and, you know, where we're going with it. Wow. And these, these are all video based too. Yeah. So depending on the, the, the rarity, oh, yeah. so if you go back up, so if you look yeah. at common, if you go common, those are just the black and black and white ones, right? And nice. those are only worth one creator credit, which is what's what we call, because you trade in these cards to get game assets. Um, yeah. And then uncommon is still images, no animation, and it's um, all color. And these are actually really cool in my eyes, because you actually see the beautiful artwork, the beautiful yeah. colors. Oh, wow. It's, yeah, some of this is incredible. It's, it's really incredible. Um, we have six different realms, um, and these characters have come to life. Um, half of our, our team is, um, you know, animate, uh, animators and stories. So we're really going to be pushing digital comics in the future and um, as well as, you know, trying to get some animated series where we talk to some studios. Um, so we have a lot of um, big plans, you know, outside of just, you know, the gaming space um, for this IP because um, we, really we really believe in it. Which card is that cult one from on the left there? Which realm? Oh, so that's actually, these are uh, Genesis cards. So the mythic cards. Mm. So these ones are not specific realm. It's actually all the realms coming together. Oh, that's cool. That's part of our story, right? And this is what um, our audience, our, our community will determine is Nova Pangea about war or peace. Because mm -hmm. right now that it's all six realms fighting over one plot of land. So, you know, if, I know you're part of our Discord, and we have a lot of fun in our, in our Discord. Yes. Um, so we were having a vote of what, what do we call ourselves, you know, the Nova crew, the Nova gang. But, you know, the top two votes was Nova army and Nova fam. And that fits ah, in perfect, right? Yeah. War and, war and peace. So w when we're at peace with each other, it's fam. But when we're at war, and it's going to happen soon because uh, uh, right now we just have the economy uh, based in the game, the multiplayer economy. But eventually it's going to be PvP. When PvP comes out, then it's going to be the Nova War. So it's um, a Nova Army. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, like I said, our community kicks ass. I absolutely love everybody in our community. They, um, they give their feedback. We send out surveys to them to prioritize like what UX updates we need to do, how we should do features. We have a VIP channel. They review um, all the wireframes you know, before our dev even builds it because they, they give us a lot of great um, insight and feedback. So we make sure that gets implemented before, um, you know, discussed before we start implementing it. So it's great. It looks very cool. So how did you hear about us? Well, I heard about you through Goldsmith. I know you see him on your Twitches a lot. And um, I'm, I'm the scout for Wine and Cheese. I like to go out and, and do the Digicons, do different discords. Like I, I'm addicted to podcasts like Ben. Mm -hmm. Um, and I like to, like to kind of see different ones. And I, I was busy at the time when he first got in. So I got in recently and as soon as I heard your accent and I heard that you're from like the same area I was from, I, I just felt like I was at home. I felt like, all right, th these aren't stuffy, stuffy McStuffy stuffs. They, they're <laughs> like down to earth people. And then like, I saw your wife there and I'm like, all right, you, you, you don't really see a lot of females on Twitches and. Um, it, it just made me comfortable right away. Like I still get called bro or, 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 you know, man or this and that. I mean, when Ben first met me, he, he called me a man. <laughs> well, that was one thing you educated me about is because you don't know who's who on the screen names. Right. And so yeah. when you, said, you said, she, I was like, oh, I felt, I felt, I felt like a well, jerk. Well, the funny thing is I said, she, and then you still called me bro. And then I said, dude, I have a vagina. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe that picked up on it. I, I probably wasn't reading. I probably wasn't reading the chat until I picked up on it. But it was, but that was actually, that was, that was, that was a huge, huge takeaway for me when I, especially doing, especially doing the uh, pack break streams, because more people I noticed. I we're was, girls. Yeah. We we're girls. I was saying, bro, like an asshole. And I felt Wait, so you know bad because is. like, I didn't know, but now, now I'm very, very cautious of it. And I thank you for that. I really do. Well, you, no problem. I, I mean, I, I'm used to it. I get used to it, but um, there are a lot of females in in this in this metaverse area. We just kind of like hide in the sidelines. Um, 
But yeah, but you don't know how it is for us. <laughs> well, sure, no. but, and not every place is as 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 friendly as as your community. Um, and there is a little uh, tension sometimes when like girls come up, like like if a uh, guy's thinking I'm a I'm a bro or a guy, I I get talk to normally and then you like you're like oh no I'm a female and they're like oh you know hey like what what do you look like and I'm like fuck you <laughs> yeah that's not that's that, that, that that's, a lot, that's a lot of bs but we, we we should start we should start uh women of noble then in, in, in our discord I'm all for it um uh, my <laughs> wife my wife my wife would be about it. you talk you talk smack to her you met her she would she would give it right back to you I just want to <laughs> be a person a person I don't have to be a exactly. girl or boy of, of anything uh I just want like because Ben wanted to make the the women of UDU and yeah. I'm like no <laughs> I'm a person <laughs> it wasn't just me come on don't just put all that on me yeah no but it's, it's good because even I, like if you look at um if you get deep into our realms like the main characters I the uh, majority of them are uh we have six realms for the four of the main characters are women um, and you know, they're going to have a lot of power in these games, um, especially Umina, cause I'm a light realm and I kind of have a lot of influence on people's special abilities. Ooh. And so she's going to, she's going to be powerful because I want my light realm to win. So that's funny. Yeah. So you, you chose light. So a lot of people coming in, I noticed there's a lot of time realms. That's mm -hmm. the one I picked. I, I, uh, I, I told Goldsmith, don't tell me where you are. I want to, I want to pick this based off what I look at the descriptions and kind of see what, what speaks to me. And um, I picked time and he just happened to be a time as well. So mm -hmm. I, I actually looked at um, space that was that was gonna be my second choice. Well, the cool thing is, um, I love time too. Everybody loves time. Time is, you know, it's it's the futuristic. It's it's us, right? Time time's amazing. But um, you pick one main realm, but you can still play in other realms. Yeah. So our next release is gonna be um upgrades. So you can actually um upgrade your <laughs> NFTs, which is really really cool. Just like Clash of Clans and Boom Beach, you but you can actually upgrade the NFTs, and you're not actually you know. Or and again, get a new one. You have mutable data, so that same NFT gets upgraded. The image changes, the, the attributes change. You know, you start, earn, you can start earning more uh, in-game resources and mining it uh, more. Um, so it's it's really it's really cool. But um, we're also releasing travel passes, so now you can actually go to other realms and build an army there and start building a little village there, um, which cool. is cool and it's going to be needed because we're going to be uh, coming out with realm-specific resources. And if you played Final Fantasy, you understand all the crafting. You gotta get this. Maybe you come up to space dust. It's like haste. You go a little faster. Um, but it's gonna be a lot, a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff with like that. And um, space is my second favorite realm, and I do love Shadow yeah. Realm too. Um, yeah, my, I, wife... my my first instinct would be to go for Shadow, but I'm just looking at the art here for space, and this looks very um, dark synth. Kind of, it has dark synth vibes, like Perturbata, You know. Like cyber sort of stuff, yeah, yeah, it's very cool. It does yeah, look very, very cool, cool. Uh, and yeah, like, and shadows is gorgeous too. I love, I love the shadow realm. You know, the one realm I don't like go towards is is water is water realm because that's where like my, our CTO is in and our CEO is on water realm. So gotta take them out. God, we got, <laughs> I got, I got build a whole, I, like I got build a noble <laughs> army and take them out. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm the product. I'm the product guy. So we gotta take out, we gotta take out all of them. That's hilarious. Um, but it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of fun. We have a great team, and like I said, the community, the community is fantastic. Um, and how long but, have you been in development of this? Um, so we started um, from the art concepting. We started probably last summer from art and, con and concepting place, oh and then God. we did a um, our first release around January. It was um, just sketch packs. We just um, you know released the sketch versions before our, our first official drop. But we for that we built a whole marketplace. Mm. where you can um you know you can see your collection you can redeem your um sketch cards for um land at the time with creative credits which is kind of our motto and then we uh, released uh the beautiful card you see now for um chapter one and we're gonna be doing chapter two i think next month it's gonna be released uh i think that's the first time anybody's heard heard the date but it's gonna be next month Ooh, nice. um but then we started after after the chapter one release we started working on the game and then we released that game in june um Nice. You know, first the first month we stabilized, but then like every every month we have one or two releases of new features. Um, so our, our next ones is like I said, NFTs, um, upgrades, and 
uh, travel passes, and then we're going to introduce residential buildings. And then it's time to launch the token. So uh, a, lot, a lot of good things happening for us uh, the rest of the year. Yes, because currently a lot of your packs are sold out. I went and had a look before. Um, director's pack sold out. Producer's pack sold out. I started with the writer's pack. Yeah, yeah director's pack sold out fast. They sold out like in two days. I think I need another another 20 wax or something, and then I'll be grabbing one of those myself. I can send you 20 wax. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, no, that looks incredible. Um, What, like, I love wax. I'm a wax polygon Solana girl, and out of the three, wax for me is the easiest. Uh, what made you choose wax as mm. the platform? And thank you for choosing it. <laughs> well, you know, at the time when we were making a decision, Wax was still very, very big. There's a lot of great games down like Alien Worlds and, and Splinterland. Um, we really were all about um, the pack breaks. We love, we love, we love the packs. We love the fact because Warwick, the CEO, and myself, we're big sport card collectors. So we love opening the cards and packs. So, and, and Wax was doing it the best there. Yeah. And honestly, um, we bootstrapped this um, and cost entry was. Is, is, is very attractive on wax. Um, with, that, with that said though, you know, look, we definitely look into uh, take this multi-chain. And uh, you know, you did, men you did mention the, uh, the next chain we're gonna we're, we're gonna be working with. We're, um, we're constant conversations with them and we're actually, you know, part of our token launch would be have a bridge over to that to other chain. So um, definitely uh, excited about that. I'm gonna buy one right here. Look, cheese, mint number 68. I'm gonna buy that. Oh, Wait, that's... no, 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 no. I'm gonna what? send you 20 wax right now and you could buy a pack. Uh, Do you have a wax wallet? I can send you a pack right now and then you can open it on uh oh yeah, yeah. I do have a wax wallet. Five, five... it's right up it's right up there. Five lpay.wham. Uh, let me see. My, my 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 beautiful camera myself is blocking it. Hold on one second. Let me uh <laughs> Let me, get, let me get sent out to you. Well, I'm going to buy that one then, just in case. The Fortress? Get the, the, the Shadow Realm Fortress. No, that's like 160. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Get the 10 Like, this 10 one's 10. One. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy that. All right. Let me get that. <laughs> his, that's his do, number 68. He used to I'll be to a stop share. race car driver, and that was his number. Uh, what, what's your Wax Wild again? Uh, number oh. five. Yep. L mm -hmm. P A Y dot wham five L pay wham. All right, go Ben. It's your birthday. You got you got to open it on camera. We got to see what you get. And if you get if you pull a legendary card, let me tell you, everybody who's part of my Twitch is going to be so upset because that would have been saved for the next pack <laughs> rate. Oh, that's but what we do went to the right place. What we do on uh, Twitch, though, we, um, you know, like I said, we're big sport card collectors, and I will be on TikTok, and YouTube is watching pack breaks at the pack breaks. So now, we, you know, we, we, we took that, and our community has loved it. You know, we've become a lot closer from it. we met a lot of uh, great new people, um, and people are very supportive when other people win, because we do a lot of fun contests, too. We do a lot of giveaways, because, you know, I, I really believe, you know, you know, personally, time is time to me is more important than money. Yeah. Um, and connections with people and um people spend a lot of time in our community um especially with some people and, and and they and they they invest their time so you know we have to, you know we, we want to give stuff back so that's why we're, we're not we're not selfish and we're kind of uh generous with our, our giveaways because they are very very um committed and like i said time, time's important now i will say that my donkey laptop may just melt down trying to do this it doesn't usually handle pack unboxings very well but we'll see how we go so far so good yes come on ben. So what what can we expect to see in this pack like this was the entry level pack or yes entry level pack you probably get some commons and uncommons but we have put um legendaries and actually we pulled um mint one uh uh card of creation so the card of creation we only made four of them right and um if you redeem it our artists would draw your likeness as a character in the game. Oh, wow. Yeah, so if we ever, you know, when we, when we get to the comic books and the movies and the PvP, you will be in it. So all four of them have been opened. The last one was the Mint one. 
And people were buying the Javactus pack on secondary thinking it would be in there. And it was, it's happened to be in a break. Um, we have it on, on YouTube. I went crazy. Like I, I threw my hat, took off my shirt. I was running around. I was so excited. <laughs> it, was, it was amazing. It was like pulling a LeBron James 101 rookie card, you know, autograph. That is awesome. Oh, I saw some shadow stuff in there. That's cool. All right. So wait, wait here. You know, this is, this is an okay pack. I'll be honest with you. I'm not gonna, you know, cause I look at it from a creative kind of mindset. Um, that's my favorite character right here, Umina. I'm in love with her. Um, that's oh, like my wife's one. favorite character. I love this yeah. one. This is yeah, so we, dark. She dressed up as her for Dragon Con, which is a big thing. Uh, in yeah, I want a picture of that. Yeah, yeah, we will. We might, we might dress up during a stream for Halloween. Yeah. Sure. I'm going. I'm going as a bird. Don't tell her. Yeah. <laughs> I just picture like a can coming over and hitting you in the head right now. Yeah, man. She's like, Watch me. Well, it's a good mix. There's there's a couple of shadow rooms, earth room, light room, yep. sh another shadow. That's a nice colorful one. Now, yeah. what you could do with these Time. is they have a an area where you can go and a marketplace where you can exchange your commons and uncommons for uh, workers and land. And that's how I got my first worker. Correct. Yeah. So if you go um, hub.novo uh, pangea.io and you create a Nova account, you can actually redeem them for game assets and you can pick whatever um, realm you want. And that was important to us also because, you know, when you open, say you, you get committed to one realm and you open a pack and you get all these light stuff and you're a shadow person, you're not going to be happy with the pack. But this mm. way you can still, you know, enjoy the story, enjoy the beauty of all the cards and then just work on the assets that you want to, um, you know, for whatever realm you want for the game, which is, you know, it's brilliant, especially since we're going to be going heavy into like comics and all the story stuff. It's um, it's good to get to get to know the characters. And like for me, when when I opened the pack and I was like, oh, you know, highest I got was uncommon. I was sad, but then I kept reading your website, and then I got to the creator credits, and that is so freaking awesome because like there's it's it's a win win situation. You there is no losing with that because you take what you have from the pack. And you turn it into something that you need for the game. Correct. So it's like it's 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 a, a perfect um, tool that that I was I appreciated a lot. Mm -hmm. I was very appreciative of that. So I'll walk you through that later, Ben. I'm just doing it now. Oh, are it's just, you? It's just we, the county stuff. So I'm just off screen. Once it's up, I'll I'm bringing it up now. What uh, realm are you gonna pick? Shadow, of course. Okay. Ooh. You, you and my wife can be in shadow together. Yeah. <laughs> I always go to the dark left-hand side. So, <laughs> yeah, no. no, this looks cool. Yeah, so, so you go to our marketplace, you can see what she was talking about. Yeah, that's perfect. Like, you need, I think, 13 for a worker. Mm -hmm. And, and um, you have 14 there. So you use all of your cards except for one common, and you can get yourself a shadow uh, worker. Yeah, and, and the thing is, um, you, you lose the cards. So you're sending it to our Nova treasure, Treasury um, and you will lose them. Um, but if you want to keep them, you can keep them. You have, you have the option to choose, right? Um, and the higher level cards, the prettier cards, the more animation, the epics and the legendary and the mythics, they actually have in-game utility because we knew people weren't going to want to um, turn them in for game assets. So they actually are uh, cool, uh, speed ups. So like, your skill workers after the shift they have to rest so you can you can you can uh, stake one to a skill worker and they can you can make the speed up go faster um we upgrade buildings just like clash of clans you, you gotta take a some time duration you stake it to that and it um speeds it up so the mythic has the most power um it's a very rare card i think there's 30 of them total and it cuts any any time drain in half and that's huge so yeah, one guy I won't go clicking on anything yet. I'll get you to babysit me through that bit later, Chase. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, like, oh, this looks very cool. When you get your worker, um, you don't have to have land right away. You can put your worker to work in somebody else's land uh, building. Correct. And that's how you get the obsidian. And Correct. the obsidian is what you'll use to buy uh, building materials, food, and energy to keep your worker going yes correct so the, that's the cool thing is um you know depending on what style of game we work with a company called machinations i don't know if you heard of them 
Um, you know, they do a great job making sure our economy is balanced. Um, and we meet with them like twice a week and they, they have so many models and scenarios and we have different personas of our users. We have, you know, self, a lot of people are self-sustainable. They, they want the land, the buildings and the skilled workers. But you're gonna need a lot of skilled workers. And we really are pushing the um, community aspect of this game. That's why it's called multi, a multiplayer game, multiplayer strategy. So um, we want to encourage you to use other people's skill workers, other people's land, and we're eventually going to be um, adding um, a player score and a district score. And you will be getting a little bit higher weighted when you put a skill work in somebody else's building than your own. Really? Yeah, because we, we really want to push that community. This is Web3 is about yeah. you know, community All right, stuff. That makes and sense. Each district, you know, will have its own DAO. So, yeah. you know, we're gonna have the main one for the game, you know, our Novo tokens, the government's token. So everybody who has Novo, we haven't worked out the details yet of how much each um, vote weighs, but you can help, you know, prioritize our backlog and what features come out of that. Uh, but also for your district, you can have, you can, you're gonna be able to vote on which district building you're gonna want. Cause there's only so many plots, you know, what is gonna be a tax rate for people, for, um, for, out, for people out of town. There's going to be all different questions. What's your flag? And so depending on how much noble you stake to your town hall, you can have more voting power for your own district. So it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, you know, definitely, you know, pushing, you know, the community to work together. Um, so we're definitely going to incentivize everybody to, uh, to work together. And how do you get the Nova? Oh, we haven't launched the token yet. So oh, that's a token. All right. That's a token. We're very, we're very excited for it. Um, you know, we had our we had our kickoff meeting, a, a planning of that this week with uh machinations, and then we have a, a very, very brilliant token advisor um who's done a lot of these projects and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rock it. We know we're not gonna release until until it's right, until the yeah. time is right. We have enough uh drains and faucets, but um we're, we're excited. We have we have a very good plan for it, but you can definitely earn the um, the Novo in the game um, through like staking, and you could trade in the Obsidian to get the Novo. So as you earn the Obsidian, you can eventually trade in for Novo, and then you can either hopefully not cash out on the exchange, but if you want, you can. If not, you can use it to buy more in-game resources, uh, more NFTs, packs, game us, uh, you know, different game assets. Um, and it'll also help you with, say, your, your um, time drains. You know, you want it instantly. You don't want to wait five hours, spend Novo. It's it's going to be, you know, a lot of fun, I think. That's cool. All right, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm in District 4 time. Best district, best district. Let me stop. <laughs> and let's say I wanted to be a part of two districts within the time realm. Um, is it possible? Is there going to be kind of like, a way to get there easier rather than going back to the world map and choosing the yes. other district. Uh, All right. 100%. That's actually going to be, um, again, our, our community gave that feedback wildly. They want that easier way to go between districts. Um, and that's going to be our next release is our travel passes. So nice. you can easily in the district, jump to another district or a different realm and a district mm -hmm. in it, because we got a lot of that feedback in our game suggestions uh, chat. So I so. could go visit Ben in his, uh, yeah. Come to the shadow realm. Yeah, <laughs> you, you you have to get tra a, tra a travel pass with um travel pass. Your and how, pass. Yes. how would you purchase that with the with the uh, obsidian or? Oh, that'll be that'll be that'll be creator credits because there'll be an actual NFT that you could oh, again you could all right, sell it. Cool. Well, say say you get tired of the game, which I don't think anybody ever will, but if you do, you can go <laughs> you can sell it on secondary. Now you mentioned in your last Twitch um about push notifications and i was happy about that because i i'm into a lot of different um spaces in here and like i i need that sort of reminder like hey your worker just woke up you know or your your worker needs to be woken up like when do you think something like that would be implemented oh uh, that would that would probably that won't be to next year i won't, I won't lie next year. Um, all right I, well I, next year is around the corner yeah but we, we want to get a token live and then we actually want to get um our realm specific resources ready in our town hall and um other stuff but you know my our team i built so many like apps over the years and so same with my cto and um and warwick you know all different areas of it so we we're, we're definitely leveraging a lot of our web to kind of techniques and to get it because we don't have it's not an app it's just uh it's a website right yeah Never yeah so there, there's a there's a few workarounds and ideas that um I've done in the past that would be perfect. And I haven't seen any other Web3 project 
do it yet. So I'm, I'm not going to say what it is yet because I don't want, you know, people <laughs> to steal it. You know, if they have, Oh um, yeah, definitely. They have yeah. more of the dev resources to, to get going. Um, but a hundred percent, this is something that we're going to do. Cause I love cutting edge technology and I love, I love, I love thinking, you know, a little differently. It's, that's a lot of fun. Oh, that sounds so awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. Is there anything you can share with us that you're planning for the future that won't get you in trouble? I know nothing would get me in trouble. Um, but, um, <laughs> you know, I can, I, you know, I, I have not told anybody this yet. And I'm sure if anybody who follows our projects, they're always asking us about our roadmap, right? I can give you a high level of my room of the roadmap that I have proposed to the team internally. One second. Nice. And you have sharing abilities here, so you can pull that up if you need, if you want. One sec. Yeah, I can share it. That's green. And then I gotta take on pick up my little man, take him to karate. Okay. Cool. You're gonna have karate doing karate. <laughs> nice. Very nice. All right. So. Let's see. All right. Hopefully I won't get in trouble, but I really won't because I won't get in trouble. Okay. <laughs> we, I, we wouldn't want you to get in trouble, but we uh, do want I'll, some gossip. I don't know who I'll get in trouble with. All right. Let's share my screen. This hasn't been approved yet, but this is basically um, high level. We use Jira for uh, our deep tracking. Um, but basically our next thing, at least I said, the current thing we're working on are, are the upgrades, uh, the building upgrades, and then the realm permits, which is travel passes, and then the residential buildings, um, and the ability, you know, this is a little feature, um, that you can actually see other jobs across the whole realm because right now it's a pain point. So nice. we're gonna get to them. And then the ability to actually change the, uh, the wages and the rents and everything for the user. Right now we have it hard-coded because yeah. we want to make sure the economy stays uh, stable. Yes. So now that we've been live for about like three months, we have enough data to run different models. So now we'll, pro we'll provide everybody with a certain range because like I said, we, we have the economy is, is number one, you know? Yeah. Um, and then the ability, we have, we have a kind of a headache in our game about from, you know, you have to after every three shifts you have to reset the building wages again and it's annoying it's annoying as oh hell we got the feedback so um we're changing the way we collect the resources if you're a building owner so now you can you only have to do it once throughout the seven day um rental period and it's gonna help so much especially um our you know our players that have multiple buildings they're gonna they're gonna love it um number 19 i, I i'm covering my screen so you don't see it so let's skip number 19 because we're looking to uh, no we can it. see it though we can see it <laughs> He's uh, i might get oh, oh, that oh, one, but, oh. uh, but that's uh actually um that is looking to that that uh, bridge for that nice. um you know but one we're of still, my top three so i love yeah it. we're still 100 percent gonna be on rock, wax rocking with wax you know wax wax guys here we're not leaving wax um it's just you know we, we want yeah well know, it's good not to pigeonhole yourself into into one exactly area. correct correct and exactly. it's going to help with user acquisition too right yeah and then, sure. then and then we got our novo and then we're working on player score and then we're going to focus on the, the districts we really the town hall the districts you know people are talking about in-game chats we just sent our survey we got their feedback great stuff then travel time between districts you know so um it takes time to get between districts um but you can always do work in your own district, but if you want to travel different districts, it's going to take you time. Yeah. Realm specific resources, travel posts, and then oh, we're ready to go to specific. PVP because PVP is where it's at in my eyes. Um, it's going to be fun. Yeah. And there you will be able to um, craft your own craft your own uh, weapons and armor, and um, so kind of Final Fantasy. So no weapon NFT will be the same. So if you nice. you have a shield and I have a shield. You might craft it with the light ability or thunder ability or with haste. So now your shield, you know, can go fat, you know, go faster and it, it has better damage against lightning. So all that stuff, everyone's going to be different. So when you go on secondary to buy NFT, you better look at the mutable data to know which one you're actually buying. That's awesome. Cool. Like, That's uh, cool. will you be able to blend them in the future to kind of combine mutable data to, to make it even stronger? Well, yeah, so we would we definitely be doing that. Yes, 100%. So, yeah, and you can, when you get your XP, kind of like, you know, Madden, when you create your characters, you give XP to make certain attributes bigger, better. Yeah. 
we'll be looking to that too. That's so awesome. Oh, this game is so much going for it. I can't wait. Like I'm definitely gonna get more workers now and and uh, get plan. workers. Yeah. Now now's the time to uh to stack up on your obsidian. The stack yeah. up on your obsidian because you're gonna be spending it soon in the in the game. This is awesome. So like to wrap us up, because I know you have to bring your kids to karate. Um, you did the challenge. You guys like you guys have to get yourself over to Nova Pangea Discord and and check this project out. Um, what should we have the challenge be, Ben? Oh, just tag cheese and say maybe which realm you would like to choose. That's so good. You're so smart. Yeah, like all right, so so look into it. Check the realms out. Ben went through all of them really slowly, which is awesome. Uh, tag me. We'll have the link in the in the YouTube description. Go there, tag me, and say which realm you want to be a part of. And if they actually give you the wax wallet, the first five, I'll give them a free skilled worker. For wow, and a skilled worker is big. Skilled worker is really big, folks. So, so definitely, that's Bonus. that's how you'll get started there. Oh, so awesome. Thank you so much. And, and like, yeah, you, you came, I was crazy when I invited you. I'm like, Oh, Hey, you want to come on my show on your Twitch? And you're like, yeah, why not? So why I'm, not? I really appreciate that. No, you joined our Twitch and you made, you made, you made every stream better so far. So, you know, oh, why thank not? you. We really, thank we really you. appreciate you being there. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy to help. Yeah. You guys cheese, gotta watch. cheese makes everything better. Oh, yes, literally got... and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, I'm definitely going to, be coming to to uh more of your twitches it's fun shout out to tay tay your wife she's yes. there yes. she's awesome keep your eyes out for the wtf web3 show oh my god that's gonna be fun <laughs> yes, that's gonna be fun <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so should i uh get us out of here i think so stay fresh cheese bags